They say that first impressions count, and I guess that's why a lot of us that are into detailing take so much time looking after our car and making sure it's always looking its best. So at the end of the day, that is the very first thing most people see when you pull up to work, up to a meet, or wherever it is you're going out, it's normally the car. So when I received this box and then I seen what was inside, I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed as to what I seen, but yeah, today we're going to be reviewing these products and seeing if I've just been a bit too quick to judge what I'm seeing in the box. So this box of goodies has been kindly sent to us then from the guys at MTS. So I'll be honest with you, I've never really heard of MTS before. Um, but a quick look on the website last night and it looks like they've been around about 30 years since 1992. So in the box is a microfiber towel, we'll just put it to one side. We have a empty spray bottle to dilute in and a trigger head. Put that over there for a sec. And then we've got a whole bunch of goodies, so yep, we'll quickly go through what we've got and then we'll get on to the detail. So in this box, they have kindly sent to us an acid-free wheel cleaner, so I'll be using that today. A purple bleeding wheel cleaner. I don't think I'll have time to use that one today. We have here a rinse and shine, which is a kind of spray on, rinse off um, after product. Long life tire dressing, we'll be giving that a try. We have here tar and adhesive remover. I probably won't be using that today. I've just, just not got the time to a full decom today. We also have a wash and wax. Sounds like a classic, that wash and wax. Um, we have snow foam. And then this last product is a quick detailer. So let's just throw that box over there. So we'll quickly go through each of these and yeah, I'll just give you my initial thoughts upon receiving them. So as I said earlier then, when I opened up the box, I felt a little bit disappointed on the first impressions. And the main reason for that is a lot of these products are sprayable and they come with these, I've not seen these for a long time, these pop-up flip lids that you normally get on a bottle of polish. They all come with that and I got one bottle to mix some of these down which are dilutable. So that's just gonna give me a headache. I've got no spare clean you know, unused bottles. I like to have everything nice and new and unused. Also, and this may just be me, but the branding just doesn't jump out at me. But as they say, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So yeah, this doesn't really strike me as such. Um, and the only other quick thing before we get into this, the wheel cleaner and the shampoo both give you dilution instructions on them. The snow foam doesn't. I don't know why. I don't know why companies still doing this. It just says dilute is required. I mean, I'm going to be mixing it at 10 to one. But why not just put that on the bottle? Anyway, enough whinging, enough of me yep, being a pain in the backside. Let's crack onto the detail and see how these products perform. Right, so onto the detail then, and as you can see, not the dirtiest car in the world, but it's probably one of the first contact washers it's had in about a month or so. So as always, we're gonna be starting off with the wheels and tires, giving the tires a clean with some all-purpose cleaner, and then using the wheel cleaner from MTS in this clear bottle that I've got myself here now. Now, it may be the fact that I've not got a foaming trigger head on this bottle, but it wasn't the foamiest product as such to go onto the wheels. However, with some agitation, it did then foam up. So I can only imagine that if you do have the correct head on here, it will be quite foamy when it comes out. The cleaning ability of this couldn't really fault it and it's nice just to have a wheel cleaner that is a wheel cleaner and not a bleeding iron fallout remover all in one. I do prefer that, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, first off wheels and then we'll get on to the pre-wash stage. Onto the snow foam then, and I mix this as usual in a 10 to 1 dilution, so that'll be 500 ml of water to 50 ml of product. And this gave some good average kind of thickness foam, so yep, something that I would expect. 
and the dwell time was around about five or six minutes so yeah it lasted quite well and the cleaning ability again the car wasn't the dirtiest of cars but it did seem to do a little bit of cleaning as well it also doesn't help that i have got different ceramic coatings and everything all over the car as well so it does just glide straight off there but all in all really did like the snow foam So onto the shampoo then, and my initial thoughts was that it wasn't the sudsiest shampoo that I've ever used. However, after dipping in the pressure washer gun a few times, it does foam up and it does transfer well onto the car later on, so bear that in mind. Also, I've got a couple of extra helpers here helping me with this, just to try and speed things up a little bit on this cold, wintry weekend cleaning this car. So before we get on to the next part of the video, which is the decon and the finishing stage, I just want to mention that I did get in touch with MTS after the initial review, just to you know give them some feedback on what I thought. Anyway, I uh, just want to point out that although at the beginning of the video I was whinging a little bit about not having all the spray heads and everything, it turns out there was some confusion with my order and somebody else's order um, for reviews and the other guy or girl um, just didn't need the bottles and the spray heads so I think things got mixed up so if you are ordering from MTS and the products require spray heads you will get them in the package so yeah just want to get that out of the way uh, before I crack on a bit more into the video so let's get back into this So after the wash stage then and the initial rinse to get off all the soapy suds, I diluted some of the rinse and shine in the supplied bottle that they gave me and we'll get onto the dilution rates um, at the end of the video. So I went around every panel one by one applying this quite liberally and I did go through this entire 500ml bottle and then basically just rinse the entire car down afterwards. So this basically adds an extra layer of protection on top of any existing ceramics, waxes or any coatings that you've got on your vehicle. And yeah, it takes an extra five minutes on top of your weekly routine.
So once I've got the car about 90% dry with the Blow Air GT, which you can get by the way from Clean and Shiny, I then went around with a quick detailer and a plush microfiber just to mop up any excess water that I may have missed and remove any slight water spotting that may have occurred over the past couple of weeks with the contactless washers. And then finally the last product to use from the MTS range was the tyre dressing. So this is a very runny liquid based product as you can see here but it does add some really deep shine to the tyres if that's the thing that you are after. So yeah we'll wrap this up and we'll get back into the garage in a moment. So that's the detail done with then and almost all the products have been used and yes it's a mixed review some positive and some not negative but could be better let's say i've also looked for the prices online and we'll start off first then in the order that i use them is the acid free wheel clean now this is seven pounds fifty for this bottle and it does say you can use it neat or at a mixture of three to one i use it at three to one and apologies if i'm going quick i just know you guys i want to get this wrapped up so I use it at three to one in my own bottle that I found with a random trigger head. Didn't foam up great on the wheels, however, once agitated, it does foam up really, really well. Now at seven pounds 50, if you do mix this up at three to one, it's a 500 ml bottle, you're gonna get two liters of wheel shampoo there, or wheel cleaner, should I say. And yeah, it seems clean really, really well. So a very, very cost-effective product there. So I know at the start, I said these products look cheap. As I say, I've looked for the prices and yeah, we're gonna take some pros out of that as well. Some positives out of that. Next up then we've got these snow foam. And now, as I say, the instructions, it just says dilute as needed. And I just think, you know, my only gripe is put on there 10 to one. I use it at a 10 to one. It wasn't the thickest snow foam but it did cling for quite some time as well. It was on there for a good five minutes or so, and there was still plenty of snow foam on there. So, you know, we all talk about having thick snow foam, but we all know thick snow foam isn't always the best snow foam either. So yeah, this was a nice snow foam to use, kind of like your average run of the mill snow foam. In my opinion, as I said, this costs eight pounds for 500 mil, and you're gonna get 10 uses out of that. So it's like 80p a wash, if that's something that's gonna affect your buying decisions. So next up is the wash and wax, which is the shampoo, of course. Now, I was very surprised when I seen the price of this, and I'll tell you that in a moment. Now, the dilution ratio on this is 1 to 400, so obviously on the back it says 25 ml into 10 litres. I made about 15, 16 litres of water and put 40 ml in there, knowing I was going to be putting the pressure washer in to get more suds. The only thing I will say, it's not the sudsy of products in the bottle, or in the bucket, should I say, um, and the suds don't stay around for a long time, but it does clean really well. It does feel quite slick. However, the price of this for 500 mil, if you're using just 10 litres to wash your car and you're using 25 mil of product, that is going to be 25, that's going to be 20 washers, five quid that cost. You cannot grumble at that price. Five pounds for a bottle like that, you can't really grumble, and it's a wash and wax product in one, which is something I've not used for quite some time. Next up is the rinse and shine. So whilst I may complain about the shampoo being just a one to 400 dilution ratio, this stuff, 
just ridiculous. One to 100. So in this spray bottle, which we'll get onto in a moment, 500 mil of water, five mil of product. That's it, five mil of product. This costs eight pounds 50 for 500 mil. That's gonna get you 100 applications. So what's that, 50 liters, <laughs> thereabouts? Yeah, can't complain. And Doggo is outside yet again. So I don't know what he's barking at, but anyway, I did go through an entire 500 mil bottle on the car, but at that dilution ratio, you can use this every single week to top up the wax coating on your car if you wish. Moving on to this bottle, this trigger head, really didn't like it, really couldn't get on with it. It was either jetting or too wide of a, a fan, so I had to try and get it in the middle. And yeah, there's Doggo again, so we'll move on to the next product. Next up is the quick detailer, and I'll be honest, I wasn't necessarily expecting to use this today, um, but yeah, I did. I used this after I blow dried the car just to mop up any excess water on there. And this one says you can use it basically everywhere. So it removes dust, fingerprints, grime, and water spots. And you can use this on glass mirrors, tiles, granite surfaces, gloss finished kitchen doors. So <laughs> you can use this everywhere. You can also use it as a clay bar lubricant. I've used probably 25 to 50 mil to dry an entire car with it. And this costs for this bottle seven pounds. So yeah, another great product just to be able to have on the shelf and you can even use that around the house if you wish. And then the last product that I used today was the Long Life tire dressing. And yep, yeah, we've done tire dressing reviews several times. In fact, we've got a video up here that you can check out comparing a few different tire dressings. It's something I'm always looking for the right one. This is a liquid based tire dressing. And I just use this on a old cut up sponge. Well, I say old, it's an unused clean cut up sponge. Eight pounds 50 for that and again, I'd probably use maybe 50 mil. I probably use more than I needed to as well. And it's a superior oil-based dressing, durable and weather resistant, long life tire dressing will enhance the appearance of tires. Not suitable for motorcycle tires. So yeah, there we go. Apply evenly using a brush or hand spray. Do not over apply. Well, yeah, I use a sponge to apply that. So yeah, they're the products that I use today. The torn adhesive remover and the purple bleeding wheel cleaner. I will be using them in upcoming details, I think. So I'll let you know what I think about those when I do get around to using them. So there we have it then. That's the first initial look at the MTS products then. And yes, I may have been a bit harsh on them at the beginning of the video, but as I say, sometimes to me, the first impressions count. But yeah, overall for the cost of those, for the price, really, really excellent value for money. They all do the job that they need to do, excellent. The wheel cleaner and the rinse and shine, great value for money if you do go ahead and dilute that down. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video then, and if you have, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing, it really does help us out. And remember to click the bell icon as well to get instant notifications. Don't forget you can check us out on Instagram as well, at Detail and World Official, and if you wanna see the behind the scenes with myself, I'm on there as randomly set. So, yep, again, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next video. Oi! What are you barking at? <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Yeah. <sighs> Shh. It's Bo. Quiet. Jeffrey. <laughs>